to jump right into today's video. These are by V Eyes. These are pre-made fans ranging from 9mm to 16mm in length. Each pre-made fan has a number of 7 individual lashes. The thickness is 0.07mm and these are a level D curled. Now these are also pre-made fans by V Eyes. These are ranging from 9mm to 16mm in length. There are 5 individual lashes on each pre-made fans. These are 0.07mm and a level G curled. The glue I will be using today is by V Eyes. This is the Sensitive Eyelash Adhesive 5mm. This has lower fumes so it's really good because it will minimize the potential of irritation, allergies, fume, and odor. The retention time is 3-4 to four weeks and the drying time is 1-2 to seconds. I recommend having a isolation tape. This is going to give you a better visual of your natural lashes in order to have better placement. The tool I will be using today is called the Butterfly Eyelash Tweezers. These are amazing because they are lightweight. They allow me to easily pick up any pre-made fans as well as create volume fans. I will be using a lash glue holder to help me maintain my speed and you are definitely going to need a lot of mascara wands to brush out your lashes. For this video, I will also be using the black diamond top coat to prevent lash fallouts, maximize my retention, and then promote lash growth. Last but not least, you are going to need a magnifier mirror to give a closer view of your natural lashes. Before applying my lash extensions, I am going to go ahead and use this lash shampoo to remove dirt and oil off of my natural lashes. To start the application process, I'm going to place the isolation tape on the center of my eyelids, pulling upwards to give me a better visual of my natural lashes, and then place the eyelash glue inside the glue holder. The style that I will be going for today is a extended open eye doll look. I am going to focus on applying the 15mm to the center of my eyelids. I'm going to apply the 16 millimeters to the end of my pupil. This is going to give the illusion that my eyes are extended. Throughout the application process, I like to make sure that I use the mascara wand to make sure everything's secure and blended. As I head towards the inner corner of my eyes, I am going to start applying 14 and 13 millimeters. For a better visual of my outer lashes, I'm going to apply the isolation tape to the center of my eyes and pull it inward. For the outer corners, I prefer them not to be too short, so I will be using the 14mm. If you did not know, some people have multiple layers of natural lashes. I'm going to apply 13mm to the third layer of my natural lashes. This is going to give me more boldness and density towards the root of my lashes and not so much at the top of the lash extension. Alright guys, this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Let's make it up to 10,000. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!